So then looking at them across two variables, which is important. You can actually see when it looks as when we look at skewness, the male distribution seems to be has more positive skew compared to the female distribution. Okay. What does that look like? Well, maybe you need to draw the histograms for those particular two those particular two distributions. Uh, you can see kurtosis here, it's 1.2, it's positive for the males, which means that the tails seem to be heavy, and it's negative for the females, which means that the tails seem to be light, if that makes sense. Uh, but maybe you can look at that in a little bit more detail yourself. Let's say we want to do this again, this time instead of splitting on gender, let's say split file, instead of splitting on gender, what I'm going to do is, I want to look at, let's say, mm, age, okay? So I'm going to look at the age profile, and the descriptive statistics. So what we'll do is we'll go to analyze now, descriptives, descriptives, and we'll hit there what we want on the salary. We'll just, we'll just go with what we've generated previously. But this time, I get for each age category now, I get the descriptive statistics across the age categories. You can probably see when we look down the average salary that one nice observation, this would actually be nice to report, okay? One nice observation here is that the average salary seems to be growing as we're going down through the age categories, yeah? Which seems to be just natural. You could probably argue, yeah, that people in the 20 to 30 year category probably haven't accrued as much service as a person in the 60 plus years category. And hence, they wouldn't have received any annual increments and annual wage growth and, and uh, wage progression, if that makes sense. But there you go. There's comparing now across these particular levels. We can see, we can see uh, growth. We can see growth in the average salary, okay? which, 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 which is nice. Now, when we look at the maximum values, we can see also growth in the maximum values, but then it drops down for the 60 plus years. I wonder what's happening here. I don't know why is it why is it growing from 42, 40, 87, 97 thousand. Then when I go above 60 thousand, it's dropping down again. This doesn't seem to be linear. It's linear growth up to 97 and then it drops down. We would say that this there's sort of an umbrella effect here. And maybe maybe that's something that you should probably you should probably maybe uh, Google or you should probably search. What is an umbrella effect? Okay. What's going on here? Okay. But that's that's a nice observation to actually make with respect to the maximum values. What about the minimum values? 18, 25, 26, 45, 51. We still have we now have linear growth across the minimum values. Okay. So in, in comparison, yeah, contrasting the minimum growth to the maximum growth, the minimum growth seems to be purely linear, okay, and the maximum growth seems to be seems to be somewhat uh, somewhat uh, following some sort of umbrella distribution. And once again, we can have a look at the skewness of the individual distributions. Not really much skewness here for the 20 to 30 years, and similarly for the 30 to 40 years. There is a lot of positive skew for the 40 to 50 years, and also a lot for the 50 to 60 years. There's none for the 60 plus years. Actually, let's generate the, let's generate the histogram for the 60 plus years. This is saying that there's no skewness, so this should be relatively normal. Okay, so let's generate the histogram. So let's actually I'll generate all the histograms. I'm going to go graphs, legacy dialogues, histogram, and I'm doing it for salary. So there'll be a lot of output here. Okay, I'm just going to go down to the 60 plus. Well, here's the 60 plus years here. Hmm. No skewness, yeah, is what it's saying. Yeah, I'll be there. Seems to be two separate distributions going on here. I, I wonder what's going on. Yeah, there's something unusual happening here in relation to in relation to that particular data set. Let me go back here. Let's just go back up. We have the 60 plus years salary. Skewness has no skewness, yeah. But it does have negative kurtosis, yeah. Okay, so it has no skewness. That's what that statistic is saying. But look, when we visualize it, yeah, okay. It's just it's what's happening is it's this way here and this way here is causing that to, to come true. If I double click on this, I can put a curve on it. Okay, there's the normal curve here. If anything, we're missing values in the center. That's why it's saying that it's not really it's not it doesn't seem to be skewed. Bad example, I suppose, to really consider here. Okay, whereas when I look at this distribution here, although there seems to be two clear peaks in it. Okay, and. Uh, Negative skewness, 
doesn't seem to, you know, is it, it this is starting to tend and see across here. You can sort of see it sort of dropping down to the left, if that makes sense. It's going from high values on the right down to uh, lower values on the left hand side. So that's where the negative skewness is coming from, if that makes sense. Uh, so there's our descriptive statistics. Uh, earlier on, I did say about the mean. The mean value is susceptible to the mean value is susceptible to these particular outliers. So maybe what we should do is we should probably generate some 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 other measure of center. So maybe we'll have a look at the median values. An alternative way of doing the descriptive statistics calculation is to go to analyze. Okay, uh, go to, go to analyze descriptives and to choose is to choose frequencies. Okay, so I'll choose frequencies this time. I'm still looking at the salary variable. Okay, now once again, like like what I had previously, uh, and maybe I'll turn off the split file first of all. Data, split file, analyze all cases. I'm going to hit OK here. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go to graphs. Sorry, not graphs. Analyze descriptives. And this time, I'm going to generate descriptives, descriptive statistics by going through the frequencies option. So I'm going to generate that. Uh, so I'm going to choose frequencies, and I'm going to put salary.